What's up guys, I'm GamerMD83 and today I'm going to continue my series of action RPGs you should be watching out for this year. In the last episode, I talked about an upcoming action RPG developed by Obsidian Entertainment, the studio that brought us Fallout New Vegas and Pillars of Eternity, Outer Worlds. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of my most anticipated games of whatever year it actually releases in. It may turn out that it doesn't release in 2019, but I had to include it in this series because it's definitely a game you need to be watching out for. Biomutant. Biomutant is a single-player open-world action RPG developed by Experiment 101 and published by THQ Nordic. Even though this will be Experiment 101's first game, the studio is far from being inexperienced. It's composed of former Avalanche Studios employees, the lovely people that brought us the Just Cause series. It will be released on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and was supposed to be released sometime in summer 2019. Now obviously, it has been postponed to possible early 2020. So it most likely won't be coming out this year, but as I said in the beginning, it is a game I truly think you guys need to keep a watchful eye on because it looks epic. Biomutant is a fantasy post-apocalyptic kung fu action RPG where you play as a mutated raccoon-like animal. Honestly, anything that comes after this is pretty meaningless because you should already be throwing your money at the screen. I mean, just listen to this gorgeous soundtrack. And would you imagine, there is a character creator. I can't wait to create my adorable and fluffy kung fu machine of death. And if you're still not convinced, I introduce to you Wiz Tinker Tonker, inventor and planeto agent. In the CC, you can customize your character's sex, height, body shape, thickness, fur, fangs, and so much more. And a lot of these choices actually affect gameplay. For example, a thicker character moves slower but deals and takes more damage. Melee and ranged combat can be comboed and the crafting system is heavily tied to how you play. <laughs> Blasting everything. For example, you can create weapons out of pieces of junk and upgrade them to deal elemental damage, becoming almost like a mage. Or you can upgrade your character by adding mutations and or biomechanical body parts like robotic legs, wings, and claws. You can upgrade yourself and weapons given the terrain or enemies you will be dealing with. You can even obtain vehicles like air balloons and jet skis and mechs! There is a dynamic weather system and day-night cycle that actually affects enemy behavior. The story is fully narrated, which for me, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, you're playing a mutated creature and the whole kung fu vibe begs for an overdramatic execution. But if the narration is too much for you, the more you play, the narration scales down and you can also manually adjust the frequency of it. The contraption he rigged to deadbolt the door triggered after you came in. You need to take care of that first. Perhaps you should give the crowbar another try. Had to add up. There's also a karma system that is measured by a meter. Similar to a morality meter in other RPGs, depending on what you do in the game, the meter moves one way or the other. And due to this, characters interact with you differently. And you can even get a different ending. Overall, the game seems like a fresh and clever way of telling a familiar story of saving humanity in the worn out post-apocalypse genre. I don't want to see humanity try and save humanity anymore. Let's see what the ninja squirrels and samurai grasshoppers do this time around. So what do you guys think of Biomutant? Let me know in the comments down below what animal you'd choose to have as your companion to save the world. I definitely have an armadillo that held onto my back like a backpack so I could have armor from behind and I could also hold it out in front of me like a shield. 
Who do I have to pay to get me an armadillo? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching my five-parter series of action RPGs to look forward to this year. I will be making another series similar to this for next year, as well as other games you should look forward to in different genres. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.